Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna Weir. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Please remember to hit that subscribe button down below and remember to turn on that notification bell as well. Anyways, as you can tell, I have no makeup on. We're going to be doing something really exciting today. I am going to be reviewing the new Sand and Sky Australian Emu Apple Super Bounce Mask. I love this packaging. Um, I'm not too sure if you all know the original Sand and Sky pink clay mask. It was more of like a light pink color. That's their OG face mask that made them famous. I've tried it multiple times. I've actually just ran out of my bottle not too long ago and it is amazing. It literally just made my pores smaller. My Anything that I had like a breakout, it made them smaller and the redness went away. So if that is something that you like, then you definitely need to get that face mask because I have tried multiple face masks and I honestly can say it is worth every penny for that Australian pink clay mask. So I was really excited when they brought out this new face mask because right now it's winter here in the UK and my skin does get a bit dry. It doesn't feel as plump as it normally does in the summertime. I am oily so if you are oily as well don't be scared to use a hydrating face mask. It actually is something that you do need. Basically when you're oily you need to put more hydration back in because you're probably using a lot of drying things to get away the acne um, or the oil so you actually do need hydration back into your skin and this mask is definitely something that anybody can use for dry, oily or combo skin. This is an Australian brand and anything to do with Australia, I am all over because I love Australia. I lived in Australia for a little while. I've literally named my dog Bondi after Bondi Beach. I love Australia. I love the weather. I love the people. It's just, yeah, it's a great country. So if I can get closer to Australia, then I will. It says, beat, feed, dull, and bring on the bounce. Our Australian glow berries include emu apple, known to be rich in antioxidants, plus kakadu plum, considered to be one of the richest sources of vitamin C, which is really good as well. We need vitamin C in our skin um, to help revitalize skin. Our unique blend of five types of hyaluronic acid help hydrate skin and make it appear plump with moisture. Definitely what makes this mask different is the Australian glow berries. It has a lot of antioxidants in which we do need for our skin. It helps with, you know, pollution in the air, like UV rays, as well as the kakadu plum. Like, I've never heard of this before in my life until now, and apparently it's one of the richest sources of vitamin C, which we definitely, you need in your skincare routine for sure. So if you're getting this in a mask, even better. It's probably just going to soak it into your skin. And then five types of hyaluronic acid. Something else I didn't know. I didn't know there was different types of hyaluronic acid, so this is good to know. I am all about anti-aging as I'm creeping up to my late 20 now, so I am all over anything like retinol, hyaluronic acid. I am all over it. Basically, hyaluronic acid is a really good skin hydration. It just takes the water from the air and puts it back into your skin and plumps it up in the winter, and especially wearing these masks as well. Our skin is being tested. It is really dry and irritated, so anything hydrating, our skin is going to love. Some other good things about the mask is that there is no sulfates, no silicones, no parabens, no... That... I haven't pronounced that one. How do you pronounce... I don't know, that one. Um, and then dermatologist approved and it's cruelty free. The face mask retails for £56.90, so it is a bit expensive. If it's anything like the pink clay mask, it is worth every penny. I do have a discount code for 10% off. It is Jenna, all in capital letters, and that'll give you 10% off all Sand and Sky products, and it will help me out as well. It is 100 grams of product. So there is quite a lot of product in here. Love this color with this blue. Like, look how pretty that is. Like, just get me to a beach now. And then it comes with a little like pull up tab that you whoop, bring it up and then that's all the products in there. You get a little cute spatula to apply. So this one's different than the pink clay mask. The pink clay mask is more of a brush. This one looks more of like a spatula and it's like silicone. 
Fendi. It comes with a little pamphlet as well, and then it comes with the bottle. So it has a little bit of a smell, but nothing crazy. It smells a bit like Starburst kind of candy. Look at the texture, it's super bouncy. So I'm assuming that's what our skin is gonna do after this face mask. So it should be interesting applying. I've never done a face mask before with this kind of texture. I have watched a few girls put this mask on and they said to apply a fair share, like a thick coat of it on your face because your skin is gonna soak it up because it is a hydrating mask. So I'm gonna make sure to put a good amount along my face. So there's like a little lid that protects it. I normally end up using it off the lid as well, but I think I'm just gonna scoop it from the tin itself. It's like a jello. Oh, quite cool. Oh. I already dropped some down. So it feels really cooling on the skin, which is nice. I love that because it just makes me feel more relaxed and like pampered especially now because we can't go to spas to get facials like I am all for face masks at the moment because like I said we can't get facials done I'm just gonna like slather this like everywhere that I can I've already used quite a bit but I don't want to use like not enough I don't know how I feel about the texture when you like scoop it in it's a bit odd I think because I've never used a mask like that it just feels really weird having like jello on your face but if it's gonna be really nice then it's worth it i don't want to do it too close to my eyes because knowing me i'll probably get it in my eye um it is a bit oh god i got some in my nose oh <laughs> yeah don't put too much near your nose, I guess. It looks like it is all on. I've applied quite a thick layer. We have to keep it on now for, I think it was 10 minutes. So I've used that much from the pot, but I have put a generous layer on my face, which it says you should do. I don't know, maybe you can get about 10 face masks out of this, maybe more. Just depends. Um, I've got quite a big face, <laughs> so I need more circumference to cover. Right now, it feels really nice. It feels really cooling. It doesn't feel as tight as the one of the pink clay mask one. So the pink clay mask one, you could feel it like start tightening and then it starts drying. But this one just feels really nice and cool. It feels like a nice facial. I will see you back in 10 minutes. Right, so we're about halfway through this face mask. You can see it has soaked up um, in some areas. Almost gone to like a jelly face mask or like a silicone-y look um, around the places that have dried. Looks like you can maybe peel it off. Forgot to say as well, when I do a face mask, I love to put lip balm on. This is my favorite lip balm. Super cheap, Carmex. Uh, I'm gonna do cherry with SPF which is good because your lips need SPF. Um, when I had a photo shoot one time, I used to cheer. Um, the MAC makeup ladies came and did our makeup and they were using this on our lips to prep before putting on lipstick and I have been hooked since. It just hydrates, smells really nice and my lips feel plump and beautiful. So I took the face mask off and it feels so, so, so soft. I can definitely say taking that face mask off is way harder than it is to take off that pink clay one. I think because it's like a jelly material, it took ages to get off. I used the Sand and Sky Bamboo Cleansing Pads, which are new and lovely. I just used one of these bamboo cleansing pads with some hot water to take the um, mask off and they feel so soft as well. It feels like I have just got a facial and I've stepped out. I've not put any moisturizer on yet. Normally after a face mask my skin is like dying for some hydration so this is amazing. Yeah it definitely does what it says. It's definitely a super bounce mask. The consistency of it is definitely bouncy. My skin now feels bouncy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you have tried any of the Sand and Sky masks or cleansing products. If you like any of the Sand and Sky products, please remember to use Jenna and you'll get 10% off. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you didn't even like it, just give it a thumbs up anyways. Have a lovely week and I'll see you all next Sunday. Bye!